Today I'm watching Firefly episode 12. I can't believe we're almost done this series, this season. Uh, I know it's obviously a short season, it's definitely bittersweet. I'm trying to enjoy these episodes as much as possible because I know there's so few left. I've really enjoyed the series, uh, especially these last half. I felt like we're really well done. Um, episode 11 we saw Saffron was back or Yolanda or whatever Bridget or whatever her name is. Um, so I'm curious to see if it'll be an episode about another returning character that comes back um, or maybe it'll be about the sale of the gun that they were able to steal in the last episode it seemed like it was really valuable so maybe they'll have you know a big celebration after they're celebrating this big win I know the episodes are out of order, so it's kind of hard to gauge what the next episode will be about. They haven't mentioned the Reavers in a while, so I'm curious to see if those will be back in this episode, or if they'll be back at all in the rest of the series. I haven't heard about them for a while. But thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me. If you have any other suggestions for TV shows you think I should watch, please comment below. And if you're ever curious about what gear I use or what's on the bookshelf, I've included a link in the description. And if you want to have a say in what movies or TV shows I watch, be sure to join Patreon. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel and check back often for more awesome content. Is this like a carnival? <laughs> oh yeah. Cal. Isn't that the same dress Kaylee was wearing when uh, she first met Mal? This booth to ourselves for five whole months. Oh my. Oh, Simon's all flustered. Every other girl I know is either married, professional, or closely related to me, so... Doesn't leave any options? More or less, you're, you know, literally the only girl in the world. Aha! Uh -huh. I don't think that came out how he wanted it to. The biggest score of my assumedly career, and no one will touch it. The last is your oh, no one's buying you. the gun. Fancy. Any packages for me? Don't know yet. I was like, cotton candy? It's like they're at a carnival or something, that's my guess. Might we all want to step a few paces back before he opens that? Yeah, probably good. Good idea. Yeah, one of them's a doctor. My dear. Ha 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 ha. She made him a hat? Oh, it's reminding me of like in Harry Potter when Ron gets the hand me down suit. Oh, your mother. I love that hat. It's so dorky. He looks like a chicken. He looks like a chicken with that hat on. Uh, human? Uh, yep, that's a person. Why is there a person in this box? Why do people keep showing up in box? That's how River got there too. No, don't take your helmet off. Oh, that's usually a bad idea. Whoa! I didn't know you were up there. Sort of point. Still. Yeah, Zoe just saved your life. Won't happen again. It does? I'm just gonna watch. Okay, so the guy in the box is somebody they know from the war, obviously. Unless you're Mal, and you make your own rules. I'm curious if they ever say how the war ended. Well, started screaming all of a sudden about his arm. We're, Ooh. We had to go back and find him. What the hell happened? Yeah, he even heard I can never it. remember the name of that shot, but I really like it. He's screaming like they're gone. Split diopter or something, I think is what it's called. More than he'd probably do. Seeker? Whoa, what's that? Or we are. I don't know if I see the percentage in that. Strain your brain trying. It might break something. Yeah, I'm curious. If he is dead, why would he be sent yeah. to them? Did we get something fun? She's like, we're not talking, by the way, in case you forgot that you said you only liked me because I'm the last girl on the planet. That is a fact. Yeah, as usual, River is correct. We got the family plot there, and my mom and dad, well, they deserve to know I died. Aww. Uh, when you can't run anymore, you crawl. When you can't do that, well, yeah, you know the rest. Aw, so he just wants to take him back to his home planet? Aw. 
It was interesting to see a little bit more of their time during the war. We haven't really seen that since the, like, the Serenity episode, like the first episode, but... Aww. Oh, and like billboards. I'm guessing they're near the core. Are you telling me to leave? What? No, no, I think you have to relax. You've been great. And I was just bluffing with that stuff about arresting you. I mean, who needs that kind of paperwork? Scum, light him on fire. No. What? What? Oh my god, these guys are sick. Boys, let's go find us a corpse. Yikes, they're gonna burn him alive? Oh my god. Well, he ratted out Malcolm, obviously, so now they've got trouble on their tail. Uh. Myself, I just get the urge to, you know, do stuff. Work out or run around. Feel alive, Maybe yeah. Trim if there's a little. Making good support of it whilst I can. You gonna read over me when I get taken down, Shepard? Oh, I suspect you'll be around long after we're all. I like his chicken hat. Oh, yeah, River. What's going on here, man? Very comfortable. Uh, for the big sleep. The Colonel must have said something. <gasps> Jesus. Uh, you do that, your precious crate gonna be in many shards. Now, I got deliveries to make, officers, so you just lock onto my trajectory and I'll take a look here, see if anything matches your description. Yikes. He's changed since I was little. He comes back, you keep him occupied. What do I do? Shadow puppets? We'll take care of him. You've got dinosaur toys. They're after Tracy. It's just something else in that box. Yeah, exactly. Anything? Unless this creates magical wish granting planks. Wish granting planks, that would be fun. That ain't right. But he was being blowed up. Yeah, why would they be after his body? Empty. Unless he's not actually dead. Mm. Well, Doctor, I guess you are doing an autopsy. Oh, there's something inside him? Oh, God. The scar's nearly invisible, but. Well, let's see what's in there. Yeah, they put something inside of him and used his body as a. Oh my god, that's horrible. <gasps> and he's alive? Oh my god, can you imagine waking up to your own autopsy? Oh, nightmare, nightmare fuel. Oh my gosh, that's gonna hurt. Yikes. Now, Pan, please. The drug you took to make it appear as though you were dead. Is that what Everyone they took when they snuck into the hospital? Never did. It's not just the heart muscle, it's everything. All the moving parts. That's what I took, Mel. That's what they want back. He took a new body? What? They're grown in a lab. The only way they can move them is in a person. Not sure why. Because the technology's not ready. Blasphemies are unapproved. No one working is back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The folks I was working for must have got wind of what I had planned. I uh, showed up. The new buyer was dead. And there were some men waiting for me. Yeah, that's so interesting. They're transporting human organs through other humans. Oh my gosh. Yeah, now the people he was originally supposed to give these organs to are after him, obviously. Whoa, they just make a black hole. I'm interested, Captain. I stepped over a lot of bodies to get to that one you got in your hold. You play this right, and yours won't have to be among them. Sarge. The captain ordered you off the bridge. What happened to his original organs? Like, I don't know how this is gonna go. They obviously want this guy back. And most of his parts. Oh my, Kaylee's got a new friend. Oh, you can thread a needle with this bird. He's the best. It's good to know. So are you and he, um... Sweeties? Sweeties! Oh, that's so cute. Kaylee's adorable. I haven't made a transmission since they broke it down. So why wouldn't they message the feds? Yeah, are they working on their own? Hmm. It's a good thing Wash is a good pilot. Yeah, they're hoping they can lose them and get away somehow. Whoa! It's gonna rocket after him? Whoa! Yeah, that's fair. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they're just gonna destroy all these rocks and mountains and then know that they're down there somewhere. It's the only option. It's not looking good. Bible dumper. Wash the but I'll kill it. I'll put a hole right through it. 
Yeah, you got him involved in all this. I'll go to hell before I watch you turn and bite us with a favor. Yeah. Wash. Call him up. Tell him we'll meet on top side. Poor no. Wash. He's like, what do I do? No! <laughs> you shot me. Damn right. Yeah, well, you tried to shoot her husband. Wash. Ow. Everybody calm down. <laughs> Kaylee, get out of there! Oh no! What? No, 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 not Kaylee! I probably scared you back there a little bit, didn't I? Yeah, you think? Anywhere with you. Nobody's going anywhere, Private. Oh, Captain, what is going on? Don't make it. Don't you hurt her. Do you think I'm stupid in every way possible? Do you know why I picked you and Zoe? Because you're sex. <gasps> oh my gosh. You were repping out as stone killers, but I still remember the old Sarge with his stories and his homilies and glory and honor. Maybe you should have listened. Oh, he's taking advantage of them because he knows they're mean? honorable. Well, that call. That call means you just murdered me. <gasps> oh god. <laughs> Shot too many times, we scared by a gun boy. Well, Mac, I think I broke your junk. A little problem drunk shipping. Yeah, exactly what those shots can do to his insides now. How valuable those yeah, organs are gonna be. Since you're running this job on the side, you took pains to keep your presence here secret. I don't imagine it would bother anyone if we laid your bodies to rest at the bottom of one of these canyons. Okay, yeah, they're out of their jurisdiction, that's why they didn't call for backup, and they're like, yikes. And I'm still curious how the Shepherd is tied into the Alliance somehow, when they saved him. Okay, bye. That makes you look like an idiot. His mom made it. She tried. Okay, well, Shepard at least was able to talk them out of it, and uh, now I don't know what they're going to do with this guy now. Oh. When you can't run, you crawl. And when you can't crawl, you, when you can't do that, you find someone to carry you. You two carried me through that war. Oh, his parents, I'm guessing. A little bit further. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah, he almost made it home. <sighs> yeah, and he was trying to make money so that his parents could get off this planet. Oh my gosh. <sighs> yeah, you knew it was. I think this is like the first funeral we've seen on the show. Like, obviously, people have died, but this is the first one that we've seen, like. Oh man. So that was my first time watching Firefly episode 12. I enjoyed it. It was an interesting episode. Um, the crew was at this carnival or this fair um, where they were able to pick up some mail and pick up some goods as well. Um, and Jane got a surprise package from his mom who knitted him this hat that made him look like a chicken, but it was just super goofy. Um, and I like that he wore it for the most of the episode. And then Mal and Zoe got a surprise package that they weren't expecting that turned out to be an old war buddy named Tracy. Um, and it was super interesting to see a war flashback. We haven't really seen a ton of those. So it's interesting to kind of see the dynamic between um, Mal and Zoe when they were together in the war. Being loud and like screaming, I'm here, come get me basically. And then Zoe was level-headed obviously and was trying to be a little bit more strategic about things. And this guy Tracy, who they'd known from the war, um, it sounds like he was never really able to find a place for himself in the world since the war ended. I don't know why he didn't team up with Mal and Zoe when they left the war. I'm not too sure why that didn't happen but um, and I'm also curious about how the war ended I don't feel like they've said that yet but anyway um, Tracy somehow becomes involved with this organ transplant where he has agreed to take out all of his organs and have other organs put in and then he has to be able to transport it as the human vessel basically because 
it's not regulated and it's still like an experimental process with these organs and in doing so Tracy found somebody who was willing to pay three times the amount of money the Alliance was offering him for these organs so obviously he went with the most amount of money um, and that deal fell through and the Alliance found out that he wanted to have this other buyer he takes out his organs and other organs are replaced and he becomes like instead of a cooler where you carry like a human organ in it's him carrying these organs and he's you know keeping the organs functioning as they're now in his body and when they try to perform an autopsy on him because they think he's dead he springs to life and I think Simon almost had a heart attack because obviously well I mean I hope that's never happened to him before where somebody's come back to life but Tracy figured the only way to get out of this situation obviously they wanted his organs and I don't know what happened to his original organs or what his plan was if he was just gonna keep these new organs and just hope nobody ever found him again basically but the feds caught up with them and Mal's basically based with his choice of do I risk the life of my whole crew as we're now trapped by the feds and it's not looking good for them or do we hand Tracy over to them and he can deal with the consequences of his own choices basically and unfortunately in that whole scuffle Tracy hears about this tries to defend himself takes Kaylee hostage which was terrifying Tracy ends up being shot twice and doesn't make it so it was just a cruel twist of fate Tracy shows up on the ship dead when he's not actually dead and I think Mal and Zoe were mentally preparing to okay this is somebody we knew somebody we cared about now we have to say goodbye to this person as they've died and then when he springs back to life I think it brought back some hope obviously that he was okay and then obviously as the story unravels and he dies eventually at the end of the episode it's just like it feels like throwing salt in the wound that he came back and then died again and they take him back to his parents which is what he wanted the whole time he's like I just wanted to go home I don't know why he didn't just go home after the war I don't, probably not uh, such an important detail but yeah that's all he wanted to do and he left this recording so they just ended up fulfilling what he wanted in the first place was to have his body taken back to his home planet so his parents could see him it was definitely interesting to see mal have to make the choice of his crew or this you know long lost friend and i think at this point we know mal's going to choose his crew every time which he did um as he was going to call in the feds and say hey we've got this person come get him basically and hand him over and, and tracy was saying like yeah i contacted you guys because i knew you you valued honor and it just felt like such a gut punch that this person would who it sounds like is only alive because Zoe and Mal took care of him basically throughout the war and that he probably would have died without their assistance as he's taking his helmet off and eating beans and Zoe's out there defending him um, but then he takes advantage of that kindness and gets them trapped in all of this mess I know Mal values honor and trying to be decent as much as possible even when the situation gets a little out of hand and unfortunately Tracy left them no option and they had to protect Kaylee and it was interesting to see how the war had affected them both differently like Mal was able to start a life him and Zoe got the ship and even though they might not do the most legal activity sometimes they still have their code that they stick by and they still try and be as honorable and as decent as they can be um, I know obviously certain situations that's not possible but um, unfortunately for Tracy it sounds like he just couldn't find a place for himself. I was not expecting the shepherd to be the one to talk down the feds. He's always very calm and very like composed and he was just like, no, you're not doing this. It, it's not up for discussion basically. You're not coming on board. You're not taking Tracy and we know that you're way out of your jurisdiction and that you didn't call for backup and you're not supposed to be here and this is like a side assignment basically that you're working on so you're already in trouble and it was nice to see the shepherd kind of just handle that situation and it was nice to see everybody kind of banded together and and even though they weren't able to sell the gun um, in this episode when Tracy came on board and they realized at the time that they thought he was dead and that he just wanted to go home their priorities all kind of shifted to okay let's take this person home they said it was like a two-day trip um, it sounds like Anira had some clients and stuff lined up that she was going to schedule but postpone that because obviously this became a priority as it was an old friend of Mal and Zoe's and that was nice to see that everybody kind of process the situation and realize this was obviously important to them. I think this was the first time we'd seen any like billboards or ads uh, in the show which was interesting. Obviously it had a very high Asian influence um, but it was cool to see what advertisements would look like in the future. 
I almost felt bad for Tracy's character because it felt like he could just never find his place and he was just making bad decisions after bad decisions and was getting lost and just wanted to go home and yes he did take advantage of Mal and Zoe but it feels like they were also the only people he could call on to help him out of a tough situation um, which obviously they tried their best until he made it into an impossible situation. That last scene was just so hard to watch and it was beautifully shot with like the snow falling but it just felt very somber obviously as Tracy's body is being delivered to his parents and he was so close to making it home and who knows if he had just been honest with Mal and Zoe from the beginning or made some other choices maybe he would have been able to make it home. But thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me. If you have any other suggestions for TV shows you think I should watch please comment below and as always please like, comment and subscribe to this channel and check back often for more awesome content. I like his chicken hat. You've got dinosaur toys. We're scratching planks. That would be fun. Oh my god, can you imagine waking up to your own autopsy? Is this like a carnival? Why do people keep showing up in box for the big sleep? They're transporting human organs through other humans. Sweeties! Oh, that's so cute. He was trying to make money so that his parents could get off this planet. 